Wait, I don't even. I, I can't even talk. Hi, this is Adrian. Welcome back to A Speaks. Just a little story time. Uh, kabalik ko lang, galing province, and I was there for one whole week. My birthday ng mother ko, so I was there to celebrate with the family, and we went to this beautiful place. Na I'm gonna share. Here are the photos. So yes, uh, for this week's episode, we're gonna talk about dreams. Bakit dreams? Because uh, when I went home, you know, uh, parang I-, I got reminded with my childhood. I haven't been home for eight months. And then when I was home, the first thing na pumasok sa isip ko, when I was younger, uh, I wanted to be an architect. I wanted to be an architect because my father is an engineer. Well, I don't know talaga yung father ko. That's why I wanted to be an architect because <laughs> I wanted to design houses. Uh, I got reminded na ganun pala yung gusto ko nung bata. My father had different blueprints sa bahay. I would try to replicate uh, the blueprints and then I went go. I just I was really fond of looking at houses and I want to have a beautiful house someday. And I remember promising my sister at the age of 21 or 25 at least meron na kaming isa sa mga gusto namin. At we wanted a farm. Uh, we wanted a big house. Uh, sabi ko pa noon, I want to be an artist. I wanted to be a dancer. I wanted to be a performer. I even wanted to be a president. But, you know, I've done something so far. And I think that's what's important. Sa, sa panahon natin, siguro, Gen Z's, millennials, sa panahon natin, we tend to compare ourselves. When I was in college, I really wanted to juggle, uh, being a student and doing something for my dreams, which is ngayon yam, gusto mong maging artista. And I've encountered a lot of difficulties. I took classes at G-Force and I also did a couple of VT- VTRs. And at that time, no one ever told me that it's going to be hard. And I felt like it's not. It's not going to be hard. Because I have friends in the show business. I... I already know a lot of people. When I was in college, I really wanted to pursue singing. I really wanted to act. So in UST, I joined uh, the Mash and Cable TV. So I was an artist, artist, and I host, and I was also a video talent. While I was singing, I had a blockmate who removed the plug of the speaker and the microphone. So that happened, and okay, no one believes in me. Even if my friends did believe in me at that time, I felt like I wasn't assured as much. I felt like I I had to definitely stop singing in front of the class. But then there's something about singing that I really like. Now I feel like I'm at peace. And also, feeling like no one's judging me when I'm singing. Well, not that no one is judging me, but definitely someone is judging me. But I had to go on and continue with it because I feel like I'm I'm at peace with everything or like, or like I'm at peace with who I am every time I sing. People wanted me to stop singing, but then little did they know and I was going through a lot and I was just fighting it on my own. And every time I sing, I feel like I don't have any problem. It's my outlet. So every time they wanted me to stop, I felt like the world was against me. And ang daming tao ang nagsasabi sa akin dati na, you should stop singing. Singing won't do you any good. Baka naman mamaya mapahiya ka, ganyan-ganyan, because di ka naman ganun kagaling kumanta. I wasn't singing because I wanted to impress people. And I am still singing because I want to express. More than impressing people, I don't, I don't care. You know, I don't care. I don't want to impress people. I want to do something for myself. And that's why I sing. I don't know, I just feel like people will always try to tear you down. Lalo na if mataas yung pangarap mo. But I really owe myself an apology for actually listening to them. For actually stopping myself and doing a lot of things. Kasi I, right now I know I am capable of doing a lot of things. Because I believe in myself. If I'm gonna give an advice, 
I think believe in yourself. Because no one will actually believe in you as much as you believe in yourself. You know, sometimes people really say a lot of things. Yung mga masasakit na salita na yan. Kasi hindi naman na siguro na iiwasan yan eh. Kahit wala ka namang ginagawa. Kahit, alam mo yun, lahat laging may masasabi. Lahat may gustong uh, humila sa'yo pababa. But then definitely, you have to be the one who lifts yourself up. Kasi ang hirap. Ang hirap ng feeling na lagi ka nalang makikinig sa iba. When they try to bring you down, it's because you're doing something good. When they try to stop you, maybe because they want to be you. Maybe they're envious of you because you're unstoppable. Don't listen to anyone who wants to break your heart, to stop you from being amazing. You're doing so good. I refuse to believe anyone right now who would say, no, I'm not good enough. Yes, I'm not good enough. Yes, I'm not good enough. Yes, I'm not good enough. What if ginawa ko pala to nung bata? What if ganto ganyan? What if hindi pala ako nakinig sa kanila? What if ginawa ko to kasi kaya ko naman pala? What if sinubukan ko? What if I joined that contest? What if ginawa ko tong project na to kasi kaya ko naman pala? You know, fear is the number one hindrance in achieving your dreams. I would say don't listen to them. Hayaan mo sila. They will always talk about you. They will always try to bring you down. There will be a lot of people who will hate you because you're doing something for yourself. They will call you narcissistic. Ang dami nilang itatawag sa'yo. But you know one thing that I've learned? Don't minimize yourself to fit into the society's standards. Alam mo kung anong gusto mong maging. Bakit ahayaan mong diktahan ka nila? At the end of the day, we are the ones responsible for our own sake. For our own lives. Would you rather have what ifs? Would you rather have a regret of a lifetime? Because you didn't do it? Or would you rather risk it and not care about what other people would say? Actually, this video podcast, I was even told that it's cringy, it's blah, 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 it's not you, it's whatever. I won't be doing this if this isn't me. I won't be doing this if I don't want this. If I don't like what I'm doing. That's one thing. I don't do shit. I don't do anything that I don't like. And you know what? As long as you're not doing anything wrong, I think just continue doing what you're doing for yourself. Let people cringe. Let people think about you badly. You have a lot of versions in other people's minds. So why do you mind? You know? Don't try and correct what they think about you. In time... They will. They will find out who you really are. And you know what is more satisfying? When you get to the point that you get invited to that seat because you are you. Don't wait for that time to happen. Make the time happen. I believe in you. I'm counting on you. So let's go. (laughs) 